Dan Kainan. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I have had the opportunity to work with President Moy, President Kibaki, President Uhuru Kenyatta, and right now President William Ruto, Mr. Speaker. And we must all accept that we have a beautiful country called Kenya, Mr. Speaker, which all of us as individuals, as groups, must, must accept and believe in. Mr. Speaker, the issue of budget making I know is emotive, it is difficult, it's painful. And I must say from the onset that as a member of the Finance Committee, we have had the honest task, Mr. Speaker, of going through the different presentations by different groups from different sectors of our economy, Mr. Speaker, in pursuit of both their collective or individual rights, Mr. Speaker, because Kenya is a democracy. Every individual has the right to a divergent view, Mr. Speaker, and that is why in the minds of the framers of the current Constitution, Mr. Speaker, the right to public participation is enshrined in the Constitution. But Mr. Speaker, having said this, I want each one of us as a leadership, and being the leadership and being in this August House, Mr. Speaker, is a privilege. Because out of the 50 million Kenyans, Mr. Speaker, Kenyans in their own wisdom, have decided to have a few of us here as their representative, Mr. Speaker. And we want to reflect, and I want to ask each one of you a question without venturing into your political uh, persuasion. Where were we in 1963? Where did our forefathers expect us to be? And where are we today? And what is expected of each one of us to do so that Kenya joins the League of Developed Nations, Mr. Speaker? Mr. Speaker, this country has recently been voted as one of the best in human resource capital, meaning therefore outside there, in the eyes of the international community, there are many Kenyans who have gone to school. Our task as elected representatives is to give them opportunities to get jobs, is to give them opportunities to remove them from that ladder of being underemployed and unemployed, Mr. Speaker. How is this achievable? This is achievable only through taxation, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I want to say this. Today we expected, and I, I know we have my friends here, in our democracy, we have two sides. Today we expected, what I expected, and this will have guided me, is to get an alternative tax proposal from those who are opposed to what the government is doing. It is not there. We expected to see an alternative budget proposal. We are not seeing it, Mr. Speaker. What is there, Mr. Speaker, is a government elected by the people of Kenya implementing their manifesto, Mr. Speaker and therefore denying them the right to pursue their manifesto, Mr. Speaker, is an infringement of both their rights as individuals, as government, Mr. Speaker, and even to the people of Kenya, Mr. Speaker. And I want to say this as a member of the Finance Committee, having gone through this, and having said taxation is not, is a painful thing, Mr. Speaker, I stand to support the finance bill as it is, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you have been around as a person of immense institutional memory, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, look at the missed opportunities. This country, because of the fear of the unknown, we have stagnated. We have lost our stature as an economic hub. It's simply because we sit somewhere there. Look at what is happening to the GDP of Ethiopia. Look at what is happening to the GDP of Tanzania. Look at what is happening to the GDP of Uganda. Where do you want to place Kenya, Mr. Speaker? It's because we have, been, we have persuaded ourselves that it's not us to do the right thing. Somebody else must come. It's our time to say this country requires development, Mr. Speaker. It's our time to say as members of the 13th Parliament, what the government is proposing, bring the alternative. And let me tell you this for free. What you are being asked to do is to deny the government taxes, misinform the Kenyan public so that your regime becomes unpopular and collapses. Don't accept that truth. This government must function. This government has been elected democratically by the people of Kenya. And therefore, one month ago, Mr. Speaker, the salary is delayed. You, you saw the kind of big picketing that was going I'm sure in your office, you have had more long ago, you to Kuliza Mishara. Isn't it? Where will the government generate the money from? The government must generate the money from taxations from, through this bill. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, what I want to say is this. We have a country.
This country must move on. This is a final takeoff for the Republic of Kenya. And please. Lotte. Okay, give him a minute. Civility is not cowardice. It's part of our democracy. Let's debate. This is a debating chamber. Let's not shout at each other. And I always say this as a practitioner. Let's debate. The majority will have their way, while the minority will have had their, their say. And that is the essence of democracy. But this bill, as recommended by the finance bill, I support.